morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Friday, in the second week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us praise the Lord. In Him is all our delight. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, Come let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, Come let us praise the Lord. In him is all our delight. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let, Come us let us praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. In, In him, him is all, all our delight. delight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us praise, praise the Lord. Lord. In, In him, him is all, all our delight. delight. Please be seated. A humble, contrite heart, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. O Lord, I have heard your renown, and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Timon, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with His glory, 
and with His praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light, rays shine forth from beside Him, where His power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God my Lord is my strength, He makes my feet swift as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O praise the Lord, Jerusalem! O praise the Lord, Jerusalem! Zion, praise your God! He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out His word to the earth, and swiftly runs His command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at His touch. He sends forth His word, and it melts them. At the breath of His mouth, the waters flow. He makes His word known to Jacob, to Israel His laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them His decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, now our high priest has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is mediator of a better covenant enacted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, no place would have been sought for a second one. But he finds fault with them and says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will conclude a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them far from the land of Egypt. For they did not stand by covenant, and I ignored them, says the Lord. But this is the covenant I will establish with the house of Israel. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their minds, and I will write them upon their hearts. I will be their guide, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach each one of his fellow citizen and kin, saying, Now the Lord, for all shall know me from least to greatest. For I will forgive their evil doing 
and remember their sins no more. When he speaks of a new, of a new covenant, he declares the first one obsolete. And what is become obsolete and has grown old is close to its disappearing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness and truth shall meet. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall bring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Kindness and truth shall meet. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall help its increase. Justice shall work before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Kindness and truth shall meet. Please stand. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up to the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, that he that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive up demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom named Bornerges, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alpheus, Thaddeus, Simon of Cananean and Judas Iscariot to betray him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Dito po sa Minor Basilica, every day we pray the Holy Rosary. And tomorrow, Saturday, after we pray the Rosary, we add the litany in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in this litany, there is one title of Mary, which is Mary, Queen of Apostles. So what is the meaning of this title? Why was Mary called the Queen of the Apostles? So... First, maybe we can reflect on the meaning of the word apostle. apostle. So the word apostle comes from Greek, apostolos, which means people sent, or sa Tagalog, taong ipinadala. In, the, in today's gospel, we can see who are the apostles. So in, the, in today's gospel, Mark the Evangelist tell us the story of Jesus, when he chose the 12 apostles 
There are Simon, James, John, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Thaddeus, Simon of Canaan, and Judas Iscariot. And they were chosen to cure the sick, to preach the good news, and to cast out the demons. In the same way, Mary also was chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus and to give him to the world. When Mary was pregnant, she was sent to visit Elizabeth. And later, together with Saint Joseph and baby Jesus, Mary was sent to Egypt during exile. So Mary was the first missionary who brought Jesus not only by her womb, but also by her heart. Second, Mary is the mother of God because Mary had every virtue. So Mary had every virtue of being an apostle in perfection. Because Mary was so humble, is so faithful and obedient to God's will. So Mary is the queen of apostles in another sense that make her different from the apostles. Because although the, the disciples were zealous in doing their missions, but sometimes they lack courage, they lack faith, humility, and obedience. For example, Peter was Peter denied Jesus three times, and Thomas he didn't believe when Jesus is risen. And Judas, even Judas, betrayed Jesus. And where and when Jesus was crucified, the apostle was scattered. In other words, Mary was the perfect example on an example of apostles. She was with Jesus during his early life, and even she show her perseverance by standing at the foot of the cross. Then later, Mary was with the apostles in the upper room while praying and waiting for the descent of the Holy Spirit. Mga kapatid, as Christian, we too are the apostles in this modern area, in the modern era. By the virtue of baptism, we are called to be sons and daughters of God. That is why, after we finish this Mass, we were sent to preach the good news. Go forth and announce the Gospel of the Lord. We will hear that. So don't forget and don't be afraid. And because it is the good news for us, for today, because even though we are not perfect yet, we have Mary as the perfect model of an apostle. Indeed, we need the example and inspiration of Mary to comfort the world. We, ne we need her virtue to win the world to her son. And we need her prayer so we will have the courage and faith to face all the challenges in our life. Therefore, as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let us God that through Mary's intercession, we may be enabled to serve God faithfully, and by word and example, we preach the good news for the glory of His name. Please all stand. As God's holy people, called in different ways to spread the good news of the kingdom, we present our needs before our Father who cares for us. And after each petition we say, God of our calling, empower us. God of our calling, empower us. <clears> that those called in the church to lead the people of God may have the courage to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us that those who seek God may find enlightenment and respond willingly to God's invitation to be with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of our, our calling, empower us. 
that young people may recognize the voice of Christ, calling them to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. That the sick may receive comfort and strength for those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. For our hope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. God of our calling, empower us. For vocations and the needs of the province and for our brothers and ministry as St. John Latran and St. Albert the Great. We pray. God of our calling, empower us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa and for our personal intentions. We pray. God of our calling, empower us. That our beloved death may rest in peace of Christ's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our calling, empower us. Heavenly Father, when you call us in the events of everyday life, that your Spirit give each of us the strength to say, Lord, here I am. I come to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may appreciate, we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess, with living faith and in and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim
You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Kristo'y uhitahin Sarili ay inihain Bilang pagkait inumi Bilang sa saluha natin Hanggang sa siya'y tumating Hanggang sa siya'y tumating. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion. Bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang ostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang ostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant, David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember His holy covenant. 
This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Let us pray. For in us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.